Yo, 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 what's going on? Welcome to Talk Your Talk Radio presented by This Is Mac Network. I'll be your host, Keon Mac. Today, we're going to do a little table talk, just me and my co-host. Uh, we're going to talk about what's going on in life and, uh, you know, anything else we can fucking think of. We're just going off the rails on this one, y'all, because we love you so much. We love all of you, so we know y'all can't get enough of us, so we're going to try to do that. I'm here with my boy Morris. Hey, Morris, or you going by Terry now, whichever one it is. What up, boy? What's going on with you? Not a thing, sir. Not a thing. Just telling. What's going on with you, sir? Ah, oh, man, I'm cool and like a motherfucker, man. I can't really complain. It's Friday. Well, it's Saturday morning now, but you get what I'm saying, though. Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, besides that, yes, man. Sir. I ain't been doing nothing but just chilling for the most part. Let me go ahead and turn this intro down a little bit. Which is a beat made by myself. I went ahead and dug in the closet and I did a little something, something for this one, y'all. I really won't trying to make the best, but I was trying to make something calm, cool, something that I can play in the background without anyone feeling, you know. Man, that, that's that's annoying, like, you know, but um yeah, man. Uh we were just talking a little earlier. And you also listened to a little piece of the new Nas album, uh, from Magic Three that came out uh Thursday night at nine PM. Um <laughs> you didn't get to listen to the whole thing. I did. Um, but what I heard was promising. Yeah. Um, I, I'm not going to give too much details until we all do the review. But um, to me, this album, it's made for real hip hoppers. If it, it takes you back to a time. I said I won't gonna say this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. My first time mm. listening to it, I only listened to it once. I only listened to it once. And what I got was you can't just let this play in the background. It's not one of those albums. It's not mm-hmm. one of those albums I, I, I see myself cruising on the highway, bumping it. Or nothing like this. This takes me back to laying in your bed with your headphones on. Uh, Just vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it, it it takes you like back. Recording the song off the radio. It 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 that's how it takes you, man. <laughs> like every oh, song. Every song. That's what it seemed like. Every song. It seemed like you just you you need to go in your corner and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And then come back out and be like, yo, he was talking some real shit. Hey, lyrically, he's still good. You know what I mean? But if you just plan it in the background and, and you just pick up on what you can, it, it, it's going to be, eh, eh. You know what I mean? It, 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 it reminds me of, and not to compare to, but it seemed like it go more in that category of, the, you know, 444. You know, and I don't mean compare the two albums. I mean, like, it, it's one of those, listen, the nigga's preaching to you. He's he, he talking to you, giving you some real shit. This the mm-hmm. shit that don't sell. <laughs> this is the shit that don't sell. Um, But I will say this and leave it at that. Um, I don't think it's better than Magic 2. I, I I put it like that. I don't think it's better than Magic Two, and to be honest, I might have to go back and and, and listen to Magic One because it's about Ooh. right there with Magic One. Magic One may be a little bit better, maybe. So I might have to go back and listen to Magic One again before I make that decision. We'll talk about that more tomorrow night when you got a chance to listen to it a few times. However many times you wanted to, 
I'm going to listen to it again, and I'm going to listen to the Magic One as well. Um, But most important, this is Nas' sixth album in just a matter of a few years. I think it's what, two yeah. years? Two, three years? He's put out six albums. Yeah. Man. You know what I mean? So I, I'm not even going to sit there and and make it seem like the dude ain't putting in his work. Because he definitely is. Um, I don't know if this is his last album. Or if yeah. this is the last trilogy to the magic whole thing. I just I heard it's... You said what? I would say it's the last trilogy. I don't see him going past three. Hey, my man, you are, you are way in the far background somewhere, man. Oh, my bad. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly now. You got comfortable. I said, I don't feel like... Uh, he gonna retire or quit. You know, this is gonna be the last album in this series. I don't see him going past three. Mm. He might, if he do, like come out with another album. Or you think he ain't gonna call it Magic Six? Yeah. Okay. Now, just like, uh, uh, like really, I don't know no rapper who do past three, uh, album series with him. When you think about it. I don't know no rapper who's going to pass three album in a series. Uh, Lil Wayne. What's that my way? As far as the dedication? The Carter? What are you talking about? I don't know. What was it, the Carter 4? <laughs> the Carter 5? What are you talking yeah, I mean, about? I, yeah, I mean, don't look at me. Just some rappers who's not funny. Rarely rappers rarely got past three. Um, oh, out there. I, I can I can kind of hear you. Know. I can kind of hear you, but you're still kind of going in and out. Oh, hold on for a second. Yeah. You hear me now? Yep, I can hear you now. I said, yeah, we got the exception to the rule. We got one or two here or there, but for the most part, rappers don't go past uh, three in this in a series of either mixtapes or or. Uh, uh, albums really. I haven't known one rapper that's done it other than Wayne. There you go. I just wanted you to say that other than Wayne. Yeah, sure. I'm pretty sure there's some others uh, on mixtapes. You probably got the exact, mixtapes. Yeah, yeah. mixtapes. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Besides Wayne, I, I can't think of no one else who had kept a trilogy oh. going longer than three. Yeah. So, so I don't see Nas More going. Serious. I see. I don't see him retiring from making music, but probably his Magic Three. That's probably gonna be his last one in that series. Yeah, I can see that. Oh man, but yeah. So that's what I think. So y'all make sure. Um, is it worth listening to? If you're a hip hop head, it's a must have. You have to listen to it. If you're a true hip hop head and you really yeah. want to just vibe out, not not get hype, not get motivated, but get some hip hop knowledge into your head from the great Nas. This is the album to get. This is the album to listen to. I don't hear nothing on that album that, that you'll throw out at a cookout. I really don't. I don't hear nothing on that album yeah. that, that make you want to, hey, put that on in the club. I just don't. But Nas really don't have that effect anyway. He never really had a, a club effect or play it at a cookout or anything. I'm but sorry. I've real. heard if I rule the world so many goddamn times. I've heard you yeah, can hate me now. Just, I heard you can hate me now. That was probably just playing. You can group. hate me but now. Nobody just put them in a the mix automatically. You can hate me now. Uh, what's that other John? Um, what's the other John? Uh, Uchi Wally. Mm-hmm. Shorty, say what's your price. 
Just to back it up, it. you can hold my eye. Now let's say you <laughs> nigga. I'm sorry, man. Like, nah, no, I'm, Stop it, man. Grown up. I'm sorry, man. Stop I, it. Maybe where you from? Stop I didn't it. Hear nobody banging knives like that in what? the club or in cars. What? None of that. I'm sorry, man. What? I ain't, even when it came to Ochi Wally and all that. What? I'm serious. Yeah, he. Even growing up, going to clubs back then, nigga. I was getting in clubs at 16. I did not hear no knives playing in no clubs. You or at no 16, barbecues. you won't paying attention. At barbecues, if I rule the world, that can't. Uchi Wally used to bang me. You, you wilding now, man. Man, I'm just letting it, you know. It, it was never the song to make. Oh shit, that's my shit. It won't never that song that that would bang at the barbecue. I still didn't even hear it. You ain't pay attention to it. I'm sure it was played. I'm sure I paid attention. You you to wouldn't want to. Would music. you would you bet your life on it that they yes, you never been to a cookout or a club and they had knives in yes. the room. Damn. Yes. Damn. Yeah, you are. Like I said, you are from Indiana. I'm not. So I, I believe here. you. I believe you. You can ask anybody. From Midwest. You're right. Yeah, from different Midwest. You crazy? If I ask New York, nah, if man. I ask Jersey, if I ask New Virginia, York, New York and Jersey. That's if I ask East Virginia. Coast, they gonna support knives, okay, so that's what but I'm they saying. They was not in the clubs. I, like I'm just telling but, you here. But you're they talking in the clubs. exactly. They wasn't in the in. They wasn't in uh we're in Indiana. People really people will listen to Nas, but like I said, it's not it wasn't oh yeah, let me go to this party, put him in a rotation. People was not putting Nas in rotation. Bro. That was the DJ's uh decision. If you telling me you telling me because when when if I rule the world came out, that was the hottest song for a, a couple of months. People was playing that on the radio. People was not playing that. At parties and clubs, nigga. Mm. You, That's just like you. You, they, you, they you were born Eminem. and raised Eminem. in the Midwest. I can understand. Eminem was the most popular rapper out here, nigga. Was nobody banging Eminem in the club like that or in the cars? No, we I'm ain't hear Eminem in the. No, you ain't got to apologize. We ain't talking about Eminem. There we go, well, skipping again. We skipping. Effect. No, Wait, no, I, no, because you're making your, example. but you're making your point about him, which I agree, we won't bump him either. So I understand yeah, that, but what, we were bumping it's Nas. the same thing. No, that's we, the same thing with Nas. Indiana. I'm talking about different, I can name New York, like, of course. I can name East Coast, you go, of course. I can name down South, of course. But you're talking about I just, the, you're talking about, about just the South Midwest. Like I, said, I, I wasn't down there at that time. I'm just letting you know. You I'm telling West. you, from mm -hmm. both sides, I'm telling you, you're you're only talking about for Indiana, and and like I said, being in Indiana, I can see, I can understand. I talked to Glover one time about that. I said, you know, some of these people don't really even. Not saying you, I know you fuck with state property, but some people ain't know about state property like that, or didn't fuck with them like that out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. It, you're in the Midwest. You stuck with, you know, you're you're stuck in between the the those who really won't as hot, or they was just that fucking hot that you had to, you know, be, being down being down south, being on the East Coast, it was almost like it was fucking it was draft time. DMX here, mm -hmm. Jay Z there, this and that. Like we was all about it when the South came. Uh, goddamn, got alive in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like from the South, like Midwest people listen to Scarface, which he mm -hmm. deserves. You know, everyone come yeah. out. You know, Paul Wall was that nigga. We was rap a lot. We was rap a lot. We was no limit, cash money, uh, Swisher House. Suave House. We listen to Southern music all the time. Yeah. So I, I still got this song playing in the background. It, it's, it's very low, and I, I'm telling you, it, it sounds comfortable. It sounds relaxing. Uh, Y'all leave a comment or something, you know, under this uh clip, and, and just let me know if it's, you know, how, how y'all feel about the little generous noise in the background.
very comfortable. I like it. But um, yeah, man, I, I think this Nas album is meant for hip hop, not rap, not hardcore rap, not gangster rap, not trap music, not. It's more like huddle up, huddle up, niggas, huddle up, huddle up. Let me talk to y'all niggas. Yeah, let me talk to y'all niggas real quick. Yeah, because, I, could, I could dig in. Because that's what he was doing with If I Rule the, the World. Rotation. That's what he was doing with If I Rule the World. He was talking to niggas. He was, he was really talking. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I give you that. Mm-hmm. I like it. I personally loved it. But I ain't even going to stunt. No, I'm I not talking school. about. I'm not talking about who was bumping it or anything like that. I'm just saying, mm-hmm. like, just the, wh- how he was. I'm comparing it to the album now. He he's yeah. he's talking like that. It's just if I rule the world was very catchy. I don't think he have any catchy songs on here. He might got one catchy mm-hmm. for someone who really listened to it often, but. He don't have that song that, like I said, if the DJ did decide to play it at the club, you know, somebody will create a dance already. It ain't going to happen yeah. like that. It's just not made for that anyway. So, um, But, yeah, man, I can't wait for you to hear it, man. Um, Right now, I give it a four out of five. And here's why. Mm. Here's why. I'm going to listen to it again. I know it's going to change when I listen to it again. That's why I'm throwing it all out now. I give it a four Mm. out of five because, number one, who it is. I'm going to give him that. He he get a three just off of who it is. He get a basic just off of who it is. Because it's Nas. It's Nas, and and it may be his his last album. And six albums in two fucking years. I think two or three years, whatever the case may be. Um, I'll have the the direct details for you tomorrow night. But it was a short period of time, and he get, he didn't he didn't give us any bad albums. Nothing was below a no. three. And, and at I, this point in his career, I mean, like you know, if he gives us a a mediocre album, I can kind of accept it. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. I, and, and I think so I mean, this was kind of that. This is that mediocre album, but with with some knowledge to it. It, you know what? I'm not even gonna call it mediocre. Okay, it may, maybe I, it, I I was a little bad for it. it. It was one of those type of albums that you could easily forget about. Like the full forty four album, you, no one's bumping that anymore. No one's thinking about it anymore. No one's going back to the song. But if you hear a certain song, you might. It, it's one of those. If you hear the song, you might go, "Man, let me go back and listen to this album." Yeah, it's one of those type of joints. It ain't nothing you're gonna just put into a glass case and go, "Hey, that shit gonna be worth some money one day." But maybe it will be. It's a good hip hop album, start to finish. It's a good hip hop album. Uh the production it, it fit Nas and and someone made a comment when I was looking under the comments to see if anyone else felt the way I felt. People are digging it. They love it. And I'm loving it because it's Nas and and it's like he didn't he didn't he didn't slag, he didn't you know what I'm saying? He didn't he ain't fuck around this album. Mhm. He don't have that commercial shit. I, I in this album, I really don't think he's looking for, you know what I mean. Like he ain't looking for this to be a classic album because of the commercial promotions and all. He want this to be a classic album based off the message, his lyrics, and he's basically saying, "Look, I want my flowers for this one. This is my mm-hmm. gift to you." My 50th birthday, hip hop turned 50. It needed this. This was a gift to hip hop. That's how I'm looking at this album. Magic 3 was a gift to hip hop. You know what I mean? Versus the 444 was more like a gift to the fans. You know what I'm saying? That, That was education on how to make your money, how to do this and that. Nas was giving information on, you know, Shit that he learned, shit that he figured out throughout the times, 
you know, things that he heard, things that he'd done, how he handled things. So I, I like it. I do like it. I just, like I said, and I hate to say it, maybe when I listen to it again, I might change that, but it feels like one of those albums, it could get lost in a rotation. Yeah. It really could. You know what I mean? Uh, so, yeah, that that's all I'm going to say because I'm going to go in deeper if if I keep on going about that. But, yeah, man. Um, well, I'm definitely going to give it a listen to mm-hmm. throughout the day today and tomorrow. Well, mm-hmm. Sunday, yeah, should I say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, yeah, cause I, I always look forward to Nas dropping anyway to see what he's still talking about. He's still one of those artists I check for if he's still coming out with music, mm-hmm. because you know he's, he's still the breath of fresh air in today's uh, climate of hip hop. So, shout out to Nas. All right. Uh. So now moving from that. So uh, remember, uh, at one point we were talking about Diddy giving back to publishing, um, all this and that. So uh, he was on The Breakfast Club, uh, I guess, earlier today, or maybe it was yesterday. Uh, It was on The Breakfast Club, and they asked him about it. Um, I would have played a clip, but you wouldn't be able to hear shit, so I'm going to just kind of tell you how I how it went uh, it's not word for word but basically how i took it uh Charlemagne mm-hmm. ended up asking him like well well i think envy talked to him about giving back to publishing and what made him do that and all this and that uh he was saying it was the right thing to do and you know uh he was fucked that he was in bad contracts before as well and you know blah 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 so then Charlemagne said, so how do you feel about those who saying the publishing ain't worth anything? And, you know, uh, you could have kept that, you know, like you, you gave it back after you took, you know, all it was worth. And he replied back. Like I said, it's not word for word, but similar to what he's saying. He, he I do remember he, he said, the publishing is worth what it's worth. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. I don't know if he's saying, hey, the same thing was worth then is worth now, or is he saying, hey, whatever I gave it back to you as, that's what the fuck is worth. What so what? You did all that crying about it here, dude. <laughs> here, dude. So I don't know how to do that. And he was quickly to go, yeah, you know, I, I did it because, you know, it was it was the right thing to do. God told me to do it. You know, I did it with love, you know, and I need to move forward. In order for me to move forward, I had to do this and give back and blah, 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 blah. blah. And I respect you. Dude. Shut the fuck up, man. Like, he did not answer that question to a fullest. He just went back and start That's praising you don't need to answer no he, he went back and he started praising himself again yeah I love god you, god did it for me and told me in love my name's love and that's why i did it because of love out of love mace is my brother i love him i'm like i'm like come on man i fuck with diddy too but come on man did it out of love, did he? Come on. <laughs> you know, Don't let God nobody damn sit here well. and try to shame you, did he? I wish I was in Charlemagne's shoes. I would have spoke up. I would have said, so did he. Did you know they knew nothing about, you know, having the, the education on on signing contracts and what they should and shouldn't do with the publishing? He he did I'm, say, he I'm did play say the devil's advocate. He we'll did hold on. Hold on though. He he <laughs> did say, you know, a contract's a contract. And mm-hmm. and and here's the thing. He didn't give them back their publishing. He did some paperwork that gave them control of their publishing. 
Meaning he could end that mm-hmm. contract if he wanted to. He could rip all that up. It is, it'll still take a longer process or whatever the case may be. But I think now they just got a big part of their publishing. I don't think they got a hundred percent. I think they still got like a, he still get a little bit because he did something like he he letting them have control. It's more like that's your job. All right, yo, this is your job. Handle that. Hey, more. Hey, hey, Terry, go ahead and um <laughs> get your publishing. Do what you can with it. Make me what you can. You going to get a good percentage, but make me what you can. Every time you go on tour, nigga, <laughs> make me what you can. Come out with a new fucking mm. album. Shit. But yeah, man, Diddy, Diddy's I, awesome. I, I don't I'm sorry, man. I fuck with Diddy. I don't I don't see it as a situation to where it's a negative because it's it goes back to people needing to know what they're doing. And there's no excuses, man. I'm sorry, man. I don't owe you no explanation of, of why you didn't read this contract well, why you wasn't educated. That's not my job. My job is a mogul, a businessman. And like I said, it could seem sleazy, but that still ain't his job, and he shouldn't be persecuted for that. You grown. That's like if you, like the same thing at 18, 19 years old, you don't know everything you know about cars and jobs and all that. And you go buy this car, you think they're going to say, well, you knew the contract, sir. You knew what you was getting. You paid $500 for the car. What did you think it was going to do? <laughs> so, I mean, it's the same thing with grown folks. I'm, it's, it's messed up in in a, in a way if you know because we all on the outside looking in so yeah that's but, another reason I really don't but, like this but that that was a bad uh, example because I mean you get a no, car not. for five hundred dollars okay you just took away five hundred dollars you got so yeah, you stuck you, somebody up for the fucking publishing that's like taking a goddamn that social that security ain't number. Nobody up. No, that's it's not. It is. If you know it's what you're doing, thing. if you, you know what you're doing, same, if you, you know the same liability with a know car, what you're and doing. same thing with a contract. Oh, man. It don't matter if you know what you're doing. Uh, you like pay right $500 you for a be... car and it breaks down. Okay, you lost $500. But the thing is, you sell the scraps, you still probably get some shit back. You knew back. this car was going to be shit. Uh, same thing. You chose to buy this car. Didn't nobody tell you to sit here and sign this contract? Nothing. It's the you ready. devil. I'm sorry, man. Yeah, don't be sorry. You better agree. pray. You better I, pray, I young man. You, as far as it may be, it may be sleazy. I pray for you as far be. as it being sleazy. He shouldn't be persecuted everybody talk about it oh you to give your publisher nigga this is what then why is he doing what he is. why is he doing what he's doing now because he's tired of people crying so he's doing it because of people he's not doing it because he want to he said it. but he, that's yeah, what he I, said I he said yeah. he doing because god told him to i don't believe that don't get me wrong i ain't right. throwing Diddy so no so he ain't, so he, he ain't lying about ball. nothing else though but he lied about yeah, god I, talking i, to I him. ain't saying I ain't saying he lying. I said I don't believe he's genuine. Like, yeah, I don't believe that. But what I'm saying is, like, uh, we're all on the outside looking in. We only know what these artists is telling us. And regardless, period, even at my age, the young age coming in, I knew you read shit before you sign it. And, and that's you understood. It, that's, to it. That's, that's, I, I understand that. We get that part. That's and what's supposed what to saying. happen. I know. So well, I'm I'm dealing with more of the emotional, mental part of it. You're dealing with the details fault. of the documentation, which we know that's that. That's still ain't his fault. No, it's not. I'm, I'm just saying it's his fault. If To me, it's his fault to know what he's about to do. Mm-hmm. After saying he had bullshit contracts himself, he's been fucked mm-hmm. over himself. Now you're doing it to others. I'm that sorry, you man. you're just keeping I... the tradition going, a fucked up tradition going, and you say, "Hey, 
Hey, shit, you know, you was, you was this like, kid. You was 18. You knew it. It's like, no. Like, I'll give you teach that the brother. On a moral standpoint. Teach the sister. Look at all these people. Like I said, total. What happened to them after Bad Boy? Nothing. Nothing. 112. Yeah. Nothing. I mm-hmm. guarantee you, if I switch places with total or 112 or something, either I'm going to be upset. Or I'm going to be in the same bracket as far as bank accounts. That's how I feel right now. If if they don't have no more, if they don't have over $2 million in their bank account, they not, I'm like, yeah. You you can't go nowhere and I can't follow. You also got to understand, this is years later. So Diddy at the time was... A kid himself, and not a kid, but a kid, young. So now he's saying these things like I was in messed up contracts, and maybe he didn't understand. Maybe he thought that's the way it was supposed but to be. I back would, then too. Maybe, but I would expect he had the opportunity to tell. He said the God whole the whole God sling. You didn't. You mm-hmm. don't. You don't think that's a you know legit? Neither do I. No, nah, I don't think so. Like, yeah, so, I don't think what he's saying. So that's what I'm saying. Why? So why don't he tell the fucking truth? If and, if it is, see, that's the thing. If it no, is, no, no celebrity's gonna do that. I think some do None. do it. I think some do do it. They just it, it be when they ignorant. Me one celebrity that's genuine that you believe is genuine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, after that, they been, all, all these accusations of he's not because then he ain't the only one. We got baby. I think. I think. No, uh, no. Jay Z. No, not not to that extent. No, not to that extent. Not to that extent. All of them got dirt on their name like that. Not uh, all of them got dirt on their name when it comes to contracts and fucking people shit up and not being around when they should be around. Not promoting people's shit when they supposed to promote it right. Not sitting up here. uh, Who Jay Z uh, got that with? Please don't say when he was dealing with Dane, because Dane was in control of that shit. Of course, but what I'm saying is, what does everybody else on Rockefeller when say he, about Jay? When Jay took uh, Rock Nation, when he made Rockefeller his, and it was all his, and he had complete control, tell me who had a problem with the contracts? Nobody when they had Exactly. Uh, what, uh, when he had full I'm control. Is, but what I'm saying is, Everybody has accusations of not being a good ass CEO. Give me one. Lady. Who did that with Jay? Everybody on the rock. The first rock said that Jay wasn't. Didn't nobody even talk to Jay? Because you. I'm not reason, talking whatever. about. You I'm not talking. I'm not, I'm not talking. So, I'm talking about. I'm talking about they publishing, man. I ain't talking about like I mean, of just. Course. Some, I'm talking about some real grimy shit. I ain't talking about a nigga who just ghosting motherfuckers. Nah, man. I'm talking about. Everybody has had accusations. I ain't gonna sit up here and say Diddy's grimy just because people have a different moral compass of him. Yeah, he, he got he accusations everywhere better. though. Yeah, he has. He but has so many. Time, that's everybody saying shit after the fact though. Everybody, like, and then it's like, hold up. Not only from Biggie era, the Locks, Mace. Uh, who else is that? Uh, what's the dude? Craig Mack. And then you still had artists signing with him over the years. And, and then I told you these niggas the just thing. wanted That's to get on. That's not fault that y'all came in here and looked at the money, didn't read your contracts, didn't know what you was getting. And then, like I said, some of these artists didn't even probably believe they was going to be big like they was. So they like, oh, let me take this upfront money. Yeah, I said case. that's what I said last so, time. That's what they all thinking about. But that's the thing. That's not Diddy's fault, whether it's morally fucked up or whatever. I'm that's not, not saying. Fault. I'm saying for you to basically, to me, it is because you are this person, executive producer, damn near mm-hmm. manager. Look how how yeah. much he was around a uh, a uh, uh, fucking Biggie. How much yeah. he was around Mace. How much he was around mm-hmm. the locks at the time? Like this nigga's supposed to be in a leadership role. Yeah, you're supposed to guide them. You're supposed to take care of them. 
So and why I you not taking care? You're taking care of yourself on those contracts. He's you giving them enough to be happy. Yeah. Nigga, in the business negotiation, nigga, you going to do stuff to make you come out on top. Now, whether it's uh, by a mile or a million miles, that depends on who signed. If you sign this contract, that's your fault. People I'm, grown and they read these contracts. You, you come sorry, into man. business, if you're an owner, of course you make more money than the people you're signing. I'm not, I'm not disputing that. I'm, I'm saying, but the at the CEO's same, CEO's gonna always look out for but his best. Interest. I under it shouldn't be his best entry. The, the CEO's supposed to look out for their star best interest. I'm sorry, because I'm you're sorry. straight I, I already. You're supposed to take that. care. You're being if you are CEO and you're worth hundreds of millions, maybe even a billion. Mm -hmm. You're not worried about yourself. The money is coming. Yeah, the money's coming. That you are protecting what's making your money. You think the CEO uh -huh. is thinking about themselves when it comes to Taylor Swift? No, give that bitch whatever yeah. the fuck she needs. I need her yeah. to feel like I'm here for her. They're not worried yeah. about the CEO. Ain't worried about himself when they're taking care of Beyonce. You see, it, and I don't like. It's too many artists. Saying the same shit about the same nigga. And I totally understand when people talking about, oh, he got my publishing, all this and everything. Diddy ain't the right dude. He shouldn't did this. Okay. I'm not throwing Diddy no bail money when it comes to that. Maybe he's his moral compass is off and the way he makes decisions. Okay. But still, I've been saying it, and not even just with Diddy, that's not his fault. He shouldn't be condemned, and everybody should just need to just stop talking about Diddy like that. Because for one, again, we on the outside looking in. I don't know what these contracts look like. You could be a lot so, of these artists so you ain't, where they go broke. So, so you ain't the type of nigga if you in your hood. Yep. And you see two young niggas mm -hmm. about to get into it over a bitch. You know what it's about because you hear shit. Mm -hmm. But you also know these little niggas who used to be cool with each other. Damn near best friends. Mm -hmm. You ain't the type that'll pull them motherfuckers over. Hey, bruh, let me talk to y'all, man. Y'all fucking up. Y'all about to fuck up something real over something stupid. You ain't the type of yeah. nigga to coach a motherfucker? Yeah. That's but all. That goes back to what I said. That's but that's not no, but my job. That's, no, it's not your job. I'm not take all that out of it. Okay, we get it. It's not saying. your job. Okay, but, what I'm but saying you, is everybody's making it seem like it's his job to be this moral um, is, guy or this guy who's going to be. Oh, when he you take did over, should have did that. When no, you're taking over, when, no, when you're taking over for a young. Men and women taking them on tour, mm -hmm. doing this and that. They are under your guidance. Yes. These are people you welcome into your home while you're fucking them over. You know, at the end of this, they going to be like, damn. You can't fuck nobody over if they read that contract and they signed it, man. You can let a retard fucking read a contract. You know they don't fucking understand it. I'm sorry, man. Whose fault is it? That's taking advantage. They That's took. They well, can you? Well, can lawyer. you? Can you? Can you just? Can you agree with that? He took advantage. Um, he's looking out for himself, right? He took advantage, right? Yeah. All right, I, there we I, go. I, I, All right, I, I wouldn't say. He I'll took settle advantage. with that. He, he, he took advantage. He took advantage. That's what he, you just said. They're always looking out for themselves. That's that's he taking advantage. Out, yeah, but that's, that's I don't feel like that's taking advantage. He's the CEO of a company. I'm sorry, man. These people got contracts. They should have got lawyers. And, and now everybody's saying they should have, would have, could have, where the money ain't what they say anymore. But what you said he I'm was, sorry, he, he was sleazy. It was sleazy way, though, right? Yeah, I give him that. I've been saying that. I'm not throwing him no bail money for that at all. But so, at the end of the day, so a sleaze, so you telling me a sleazy way isn't taking advantage? Taking advantage wouldn't be considered I, a sleazy thing to do. I I'm saying 
I'm mean, asking. Hold you on. Answer that. Options. Answer that. Go ahead. What you say? Is taking advantage Easy. of someone is a sleazy thing to do. Yeah. Okay. I feel it, like he took advantage sleazy. and he's sleazy for doing that. That's what the whole and sleazy thing is, is about because he took advantage and, of these people who did not know. And and I will say that again, but again, it's these people who should have known. All period. Right. I'm saying all like right. old people, this is you you from the South. So this is all the same. If, if you did know, you should have known. Because you now you're paying the consequences for what you should have did the research for. We know that's an old saying I've been heard we know for years. The, we if you know didn't know, that. you should have known. We know that after the fact. But it's not but the thing But is, you listen to Diddy, he know how to talk. Yeah. He took advantage. But that's just like well, let's just, talk, let's just think about that. Okay. When we now, if we 1920, we now we're not the smartest motherfuckers in the world at 1920. But if somebody would have came to you, I probably would have signed that contract. You know, even though I would have read it and looked at the publisher and be like, "Damn, I probably ain't gonna get all that." All right, money. all right. So let, let's put, put you, half a million right. dollars or whatever. All right, look, place. hold on, hold on. So, so now that you bring that up, let, let's before you go down that deep road, let let me let's put you in that situation. Mm-hmm. You're 19. You signed that contract. You in Mace position. This is your money now. You're making a few hundred thousand here and there. You might saved up a little bit. You got a couple of, you got about two, three million stashed somewhere. And then when you start getting back down to the hundred thousands, that's when you poke your head out and, shit, I'm going to make an album. But this nigga get 90% of it. No matter what you do, he's getting 90% of it. I would feel a certain way, but I signed that contract. Right. That's one thing about me is I but, but always... But no, hold on, hold on. That. No, 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 no. I don't need no backstory. You this person. I'm interviewing you. You this person. Uh-huh. So you 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 feel some type of way. What type of way do you feel? I'm like, damn, man. I'm only getting 10% of my publishing. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, you signed that contract, yeah, though, but damn. Yeah. This nigga, That's this nigga, hold on, hold on. This nigga been smiling. You. Yeah, take that. Take that. Come on, let's go. Bad boy for life. Let's go. Get it. Yeah, yeah. He doing all that. that in your, he, money, he dancing around <laughs> your ass with that shit. And y'all smiling and popping crystal and shit. And now you over that bitch looking at a couple of hundred grand. And he over that bitch facing a billion they're still dancing. Yeah, come on. Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh, bad boy. Still doing that shit. You telling me, come on, man. And he's still getting 90% of your shit. You you hear shit on, on TV. Bad, 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 bad. Hey, that's my song, man. Damn, I should be seeing at least a $1,400 check. A ten grand check, depending on how hard it is, how much they pay. So, mm-hmm. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, go through that now. You feeling all that yeah. after being on yeah. top of the world? You, you had Harlem World come out, which we gave what a four out of five, four point five out of mm-hmm. five. It, it was damn near classic. It was just missing a few things. So you was mm-hmm. on top of the world at one point. You was on everybody's song. You was on all the remixes. And now you you over here like, damn. Why, why am I not a millionaire anymore? Oh, when I was 18, 19, signed a fucked up contract with the nigga who showed me the world. But never gave me what I should own. That's like what the world's doing to us. To black folks. All the shit we created. All the shit we built. All the land we used to own. The banks we used to own. Mm -hmm. They took all that away. And ain't do shit about it. 
Now hold up. Now that's two different. Now that's two different. Things. No, but I'm saying. Well, no, 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 no. I'm I'm not comparing that. I'm comparing the feeling of what we was owed. That's our work. That's our like work. I uh, know you, you don't have to compare them. I'm saying that's how I feel about those who are in that yeah. situation who's saying, damn, man, because I could have been financially good if he would have been this generous 10, 15 years ago. Why do you wait till this shit is suck bald and dry and then hand it over to us? That's, that's hand-me-downs. You handing me my own shit when it's old and washed the fuck up. Come on, man. I, 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 Come I on. agree with you. Come on, man. I'm sorry. Extent. I'm sorry. But at the same time, overall, and I'm going to put a, you know, fine point on that because, you know, at the end of the day, for future, for future artists, read what you're signing. Believe in yourself. You know? I, and, and I do agree with that too. Please read what you're hey, signing, I, because because once you sign it, you in it. <laughs> they go, like, like, they like gonna old laugh boy, like in your Slim fucking Charles face. Said off the wire. Once you in it, man, you in it. Mm, mm, mm. Fuck that. So, you know, that's my thing with Diddy. I, I like Diddy. I like him too. I like his, him too. Maybe his pass is a little skewed but i i like diddy i'm sorry man it's, don't, don't be sorry i is, like diddy i just don't like that move for, that's all i'm saying this is for anybody who's in the music industry or not even just music industry sign a little read what you sign in period yeah for sure that's facts. oh so, you know that's facts right there shout I out agree. To diddy for giving everybody they publishing back though yeah shout out for giving them that washed up shit Fuck. Something, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Here hey, goes seven hundred dollars a month, nigga. Take it. Hey, it's something. The fuck. Dude. Better than what you did get, nigga. The fuck. You got more money. They you probably take, take taxes out of so that. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> <Take> that. <laughs> probably tax <laughs> that shit. <laughs> fuck. Turn that into a business, nigga. <laughs> the fuck is he talking about? Did he reverse he that shit? It gave him power and 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 ninety percent. Now he get ten percent out of that eight hundred dollars. They get seven on it. That shit's just fucking ridiculous, man. Um, give me my money. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the more money we come <laughs> up off, the more problems we see. Uh, B I G P O P P A. No one fold for the D E A. Federal agents back of the fake attack myself on the phone in the basement. Uh, my team supreme stay clean. Triple B. And they gave they gave his family back to shit. That's like wow. Okay. <laughs> All yeah, right, Diddy. wow. Diddy gave Biggie his shit back, nigga. Wow. I love you, Diddy. Wow. He's dead, but he gave him back. His mom, like 90 some years old. The fuck? Ain't Chris, that nigga mama dead. She died? I thought Did that was Tupac. I thought back? that was Tupac, mom. That was bo- both of their mama died. God damn, we sound old as a bitch. Didn't she remember back in about four or five years ago? Looking ass, man. Let me see. Let me make sure, because now you got me. Yeah, you pull that fucking Google out there. I should know how to do all that shit, but that's... Oh, no, nah, she's still alive. I You're told right, you. Yeah, I know what I'm talking about, man. I'm an analyst, nigga. I'm an analyst, nigga. The fuck? Oh, journalist out this bitch, nigga. The facts. When I get dusted. Love to spread the blood spread like the mustard, blood like trusted. Mustard. Move over, Lucifer. I'm more Rufus. Oh. 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 Anyway, um, what were we talking about? Uh, social media. Yeah. How often are you on social media? Uh... I would say throughout the week, huh? Mm. 
I don't say I'm on it quite often, but not. I try to stay on it only for business or, but sometimes it, you know, when people send me stuff or you get notifications. But yeah, I'm on it. So are you like going running, through, baby. are you going like through things, looking at people, uh, status and, you know, uh, liking pictures and shit, sharing shit? Nah, 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 I ain't doing that. Uh, now, if it's something that catches my eye, if somebody send me something or if I get a notification and I happen to be like, oh, okay, hell no. Nah. Yeah. I'm, 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 most part, nah. I'm on it, but it's always a quick on and off type thing. I'll get on, scroll down a little bit. Sometimes I'll get caught up when I see a video and then you just, the next video and, and then you just scroll in all these fucking videos and shit. Um, of course, uh, me running the uh, Talk Your Talk uh, Facebook page, which y'all make sure y'all go there, Talk Your Talk Facebook page. Uh, we up to 1,300 uh, followers now, so that's a big... Man, shout out. Yeah. That's, shout out to social media. That's a big whoop de doo right there. Um, I got to start getting back on his Twitter and all that shit, too. Um, so so this is the most that I be on there. It's usually me trying to post videos and all that type of shit. Uh, now that I got this new MacBook Pro, I might be uh, editing videos and shit like that and, and even doing clips of uh, our show and putting it on uh, Facebook and all that type of stuff. Uh, possibly find a way to go live, you know, things like that. So um yeah man y'all just look out man we 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 definitely coming out um we we just practicing on things we're trying to make sure we got things good we want y'all to get the best quality which the quality definitely is better now from what it was you know 2 months ago as we were going around cuz this mic is like clear as shit on my end, especially on the audience end. Um, got it to a point we can actually do one on one. So maybe one day more to so come up here and you know we'll do a face to face joint. Uh, so yeah, man. But social media, it, it definitely. So do you think it's a problem? Like, how do you think it's a problem for being on it for a while? Because what I'm starting to notice is when people are not doing anything, if you just say, hey, mm-hmm. can you just sit down for a second? I'll be with you in a minute. All right, thank you. As soon as they sit down, they reach for the phone. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. some people like to blame it on work. I got a job. I got to do that. I'm a supervisor. I need to do this. I'm a, It's like, you're not doing shit work-related. Yeah. You just yeah. reading shit, trying to find up on shit, talking about shit. Either gossiping, being mm-hmm. nosy, sharing if shit. I feel like if you ain't also social media as an adult mm-hmm. doing something beneficial, then you just on there just wasting time. Yeah. A lot of times, don't get me wrong, I ain't saying something wrong with wasting time, but so, you know. So what are what are some of the what are some of the dumb shit you see on social media? Like you just see people doing it, you just shake your head like, man, the fuck is wrong um, with you? Just posting anything. This has no filter. And I'm one of those that have no filter. But when you get to the point where your filter is just dis- not only disgusting but pointless, like why would you say this? Like, oh, come on now. Certain mm. stuff you just especially at a certain age. You know, I, that's my thing. I feel like social media needs an age limit, limit mm. when it comes to stuff, man. Because if you on there as a woman, you know, posting stupid stuff like I'm the mother and the father for my baby daddy and for my kid, and I'm like, hey, come on, nobody want to hear all that. <laughs> right. Like seriously, yeah, my no. baby daddy's worthless. And when you get it's like, why does the world need to know that you picked the worthless nigga? I mean, now, 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 what about males do the same shit too? Because I, hey, I, I realize, okay. yeah. So, uh, yeah, because males always so talking they be on about, there talking about the females bashing. Yeah, I've, like, I've nigga, you picked that woman. Nigga. I've seen some go. I remember one guy 
friend I grew up with, uh, he, him and his wife was going at it over Facebook. Mm-hmm. And I replied back like, I can't remember exactly what I said, but it was more like, damn, you know, I hope everything all right. Like, you know, some shit like that. And she was more like, you need to mind your business. And he uh, sent me a, a, a message, a, one, a one-on-one message. It was like, yo, man, I appreciate you, you know, looking out for me. But, you know, just between me and my wife, man, you know, so respectfully. But you, you know. But I'm, you he, yeah, I'm like, but okay, it's all out in the public, but all right, you know what I'm saying? It's like, if that's between you and your wife, like, won't y'all text He's each other this shit? Your wife. Yeah, text each other this shit. If y'all just want to type each other, like, you know, go ahead and text the shit to one another. So, but yeah, stuff like that. So I definitely agree with you. Uh, the one thing that I hate the most is I have I have some friends on, on Facebook, and it's like every day it's depressing shit. Mm-hmm. You know, it's depressing. That's why I don't comment on the people. I don't like people's shit. I don't do all that because I don't want to give the wrong impression. Sometimes I see shit, I want to leave the laughing emoji because the shit is ridiculous, but that'll be the time they're dead ass serious on some shit. But, yeah, it's like... You keep hearing shit, oh, I got to keep pushing one day at a time. Oh, man, mm-hmm. sometimes I just want to give up. Mm-hmm. Oh, Lord, like, I know God got me. It's like, what the fuck like, nigga, are you going through? Off of Facebook trying to get attention and shit. The fuck are you going through, dude? Yeah, this is like, nigga. That goes by the old saying. <laughs> nigga, I don't tell nobody my problems. It's like, what's it? How's this saying go? Why well, complain? Because like, if I complain, who's going to listen? Mm. Ain't nobody listening to you. Yeah. When niggas do put that shit, nigga, you ain't got no comments up under there. Hey, what's going on? And <laughs> nigga, get up out here. And then, and then when they do respond, <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on? They say some little vague shit like, oh, everything's going to be cool. <laughs> I'm just going through a little bit. You don't want to break it down. Right. What you going through, but you just want somebody to acknowledge that you're going through some shit. Nigga, shut the ass. And, and and that's one of the reasons why I always say it's good to have friends. Real fucking friends mm-hmm. where you could sit down and talk. You know, and, and I know they say men don't like doing shit. Men like doing shit like that. They just don't like to they don't want to be fooled. Yeah. Men don't want to you feel like to everybody yeah, about your problem. Yeah, they 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 already Especially after someone after someone let some shit out, they already mm-hmm. look at you like you about to tell somebody, ain't it? Weak ass nigga. <laughs> no, I ain't talking about the person who heard the shit. I'm talking about the person who actually told all the shit. They gonna be like, man, you about to don't tell they wanna say, don't tell nobody, bro. You know what I mean? But because at this mm-hmm. age, you don't want to do that. And that's yeah. why, you know, and you know the situation that um I recently went through with a, with mm-hmm. a, with a, with a mutual uh, former employee. Uh, <laughs> like, you, when you get to a certain age, you, like, you shouldn't have to, hey, don't tell nobody. Like, that's why I yeah. hate when people go, man, I'm going to be honest. Like you're supposed to be honest anyway. I get it. It's a habit yeah. sometimes of saying it, but I try to break that. But yeah, we at a certain age. You shouldn't. Man, let me tell you what Max said. Man, let me tell you what Terry said to me. Let me, you know, what I'm saying unless it's some shit I know you yeah. ain't gonna feel. You know what I mean? If it's some bullshit, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Like some stuff. Me, you, and Brown yeah. would talk about if, if you know what I'm saying, if I know some shit you wouldn't, you would tell me and Brown on the phone, yeah, I might would say, man, Ma's going to say blah, 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 blah. It's because I know you ain't talked to him yet. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So it, it'll be on that, but I know when we have our talk, 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 like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. going to, I'm not going to stir shit up. I'm not going to, Brown, man, Ma told me you said I'm not that guy. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? It'll be some shit like if you had a funny ass story. Man, I got there tripped up in. Yeah, if I talked to Brown the next day, I'm like, I ain't heard from more, man. You know that nigga tripped up in the damn snow? Like, that'd be something I would tell him, you know, before. Yeah, some shit like that, but I would never do no personal. You know what I mean? Like, yo, man, I want meant for you to tell for him. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, I wouldn't go that far. But we don't, people don't know who to trust these days, and we don't have a group. A group. I, I, I really think men need that. They need a session where they can just get together and just vent. Regardless what it is, it could be over a lost one, it can be over, you know, friends, family jobs like anything because that it relieves a lot of stress Mm -hmm. and and you don't want to you know have stress from home and bring that shit to work you don't want to have stress from work and bring that shit home you know so I really do think men need people to talk to but since they don't that which brings us back to social media they just throw shit out there. They half-ass throw shit out there in a status. Sometimes I just want to give up. This motherfucker can be talking about goddamn just give up goddamn, you know, at work. But mm-hmm. now you got all these people, oh, hang in there. I'm praying for you. Jesus, Lord, Jesus. Yeah. It's like, what the fuck? So this nigga's throwing mm-hmm. half-ass mm-hmm. messages out there. Yeah. You know, and like you said, these these females do the same fucking shit. Mm-hmm. You know, so I, I really think. And when, people, and when you say something about it, they like you said, when we get an attitude. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and, but you putting your life out there. Yeah, and they can have so, people they can talk to, but they just don't want to talk to yeah. them because they want the attention. They want the person they're talking they about attention. to hear it. That's what it's usually That's about. Like the, that's like the old saying, like you really like a lot of people like being broken because they like the attention they get from being broken. Mm-hmm. You know, like a lot of people can solve their issues, but like you said, they they don't. They like the attention they get from their so-called issues if yeah. they have one. Mm-hmm. So yeah, and a lot of people like to pretend. Yeah, and 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 that's why we don't have real motherfuckers out there like that no more. They just not out there anymore. I mean, you you it, it's always mm-hmm. some out there, but they they not out there seeking. They out there just keeping it real to themselves. You know, mm-hmm. I've and, and I was talking about doing a forum on this uh podcast, you know, to bring, you know, uh people that I grew up with and we all just kind of catch up and talk, just have a nice round table talk. You know, um, I thought it would be good for us. It'll be good for us to, you know, uh, you know, get to know each other lives now versus to when we were teenagers. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and just get to know each other more because people change. I'm you know, I'm mm-hmm. pretty sure it's still some similarities to how you were the last time I remember you, but I know you're still not that same person. I mean, and, and, and the thing is, people are supposed to change right. for the better, I'm saying, and for an evolve. Now, when you get somebody who's just stagnant and, and still you like the same negative person or the same like mindset like far as dumb shit from teenage years to twenties to thirties and now we in our forties, like, no nigga. Where does the the growth come in? You know, and then like for one, like like I've never been one to put everything on social media and all that. I probably say say stuff like I probably post stuff on my page like that I agree with. Like if I see a quote 
or if I see a police video, police brutality, I'm like, man, you know, it's, it's ridiculous. Or if it's somebody's birthday, things of that nature. As far as putting my personal life on, on, on social media, man, it's just, nah, I don't do that for a number of reasons. You don't need to know who I'm with. You don't need to know how much money I'm making. All you need to see maybe is vacation pics and <laughs> family pics. If that. Yeah, I, I don't try to post too much either. I go on there, post a few things. If something like a, an award show is on or something, I might stay on there and bullshit a little bit, clown around. One thing that I do uh, always do, and it's probably like once a month, I do it just to see if I'm sharp. You know what I mean? So uh, they posted a, a picture of uh, Ashanti, and mm-hmm. she had her... Uh, hand over her purse and the purse had a picture of her and not uh not Nas, her and nelly when they first met at the yeah. at the mtv awards uh video mu- music awards 20 years ago and me i didn't know ashanti had these many fans but they're quietly mm-hmm. they like they like fucking you know those little flies that bite motherfuckers and shit like sand flies? Or nets. Whatever the fuck it is. They're like that. They come out and they just kind of sting you a little bit. But then you have these trolls as well. So what I wrote down was, damn, Ashanti hands are aging very bad. Yeah, they got went in on your head. I was just saying, I, I, and that's what I wanted. I didn't do it for the laughs, even though I knew I was going to get some laughs. I more did it for, all right, let me see what, because I like to debate a lot. And I also like the Joan, you know, crack on somebody here and there. And people come out, oh, man, they start getting on my ass. Like, fuck you, you red fox looking motherfucker. I said, what? And then the motherfuckers start talking about my receding hairline and shit. I mean, one dude took a picture off my Facebook and, and put a clown nose on it. So I went to his page to see how he looked. He got pictures of nothing but fucking, you know, celebrities. I'm like. Uh, he's one of those that you can't even see him, huh? Yeah. So I'm like, I said, man, I'm not even going. You know, because he was talking shit. But no one was liking his shit. And I'm realizing I'm going back and forth. So I started liking this shit that would he'll say, you know, I like some of his shit. And, you know, he you can tell he was just trolling. He he got on his dummy page and go, let me go in here and talk shit because I can get blocked and it's still really not my page. And it seemed like that's what he did. Um, I had a female come in on me and say, nigga, you weird, bro. I was like, okay. Like I said, I say this shit because I want that attention. I want to see if I can stick with him. So I start replying to everyone. And I'm going back at him. One nigga was like, why you remind me of a corn dog, corn ball? And I say, because they ran out of, of hush puppies. And <laughs> that was it. He He couldn't even respond back. Like, I wasn't being serious with this shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and it was just, it was just, no, I ain't say hush puppies. I said cornbread. He said, why you remind me of a corn ball? I said, because they ran out of cornbread. And he just didn't reply back. You know, and that's how I was hitting everybody. Like, they'll say something. That's when, how social media is, man. I love it, it though. Like now they, that's why I say I do that. Just, I do that once a month. To sharpen my skills, make sure I still got it. It's like people just be on social media just for, you know, for the hell of it, man, because they ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah, I definitely ain't nothing to do for that 45 minutes. <laughs> it was it had like over 60 some, maybe 70 some comments on that shit. I was just talking shit, but yeah, they 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 got at me though. Um. That was pretty bad. 
Uh, so uh, let's go back to your homeboys. Uh, you had a question. You said, well, you actually had something to say about Jagged Edge. Mm-hmm. So what, what, like what was like, your complaint? Well, I don't think it's not much of a complaint. I listened to him today. I was like, damn, you know, Jagged Edge really don't get talked about like that in that conversation at R&B. Like, if they had some hits, and then they kind of just faded away. Well, I mean, that's what happens that was when you fade thing. away. They didn't I mean, stick you know. around long enough. That's like 112. They made some hot songs, but they didn't stick around long enough. Mm-hmm. If they would have stuck around long enough, they probably would have been a, a great group. I'm pretty sure they would have found, they would have landed somewhere where they would have took care of them. Because them boys could sing. I like the different... Yeah different notes that each every one of them carry but they ain't better than drew hill <laughs> mm-hmm. i can't put 112 and 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 a jagged edge up there with drew i can't i can't mm-hmm. they were they were little boys compared to drew hill and them. I, I ain't gonna say they were little boys they were i'm little sorry boys. They were I, little boys. I can't do that they were little boys jagged edge had they run bro they had a what a good two they year had a run. Couple albums. Hey, dude, come on, huh? man, really? That one album, that oh 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 oh, that whole album was hard. Uh 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 uh, what the fuck is that? Remember that song? That, oh, he's talking about oh oh uh, oh oh oh. oh, 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 oh Let's oh. get yeah, married. That had a remix. That yeah. whole album was hard. What what's another song off the album? I can't remember. Exactly. Exactly. Like just like say goodbye. <laughs> I don't wanna ever see you cry. Looking out the window and wondering why. Oh, Did man. I have to say all those things? Ladies and gentlemen. And we said last night. My fucking ears are bleeding. That old album was hard. Now you're about to make me get more hold of that thing. I'm it, tired of this. It was. Yeah, you better put some respect on Jagged Edge's name, baby. Nah, man. Jagged, uh, Jagged Edge was good. They weren't bad. They wasn't bad. It's just they won't fucking with Drew Hill. They won't fucking with him. I give you Drew Hill, but as far but hold on, hold on. The only people I that I can compare, only no, people no, no, I can... hold on. I give you the one twelve. I can't give you the Drew Hill. They was fucking with Drew Hill, but the one twelve. I'm sorry, one twelve. They, I love, I love one twelve, man. I love them too. That don't mean they fucking with them. I don't. Now nah, I'm sorry. Come on, man. I, I think one twelve. I don't think they now one twelve. I think is better than them. Yeah, but Drew Hill, Drew Hill was nice. They had hits and shit, but I feel like they was on, on par a little bit. You know what I mean? With, uh, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't put them up completely over them. I love Drew Hill too, but I love Jagged Edge too, man. What's fucking with sleeping in my bed remix? That was hard. I can't. Sleeping like, in my head, that's in my head, taking my place. Oh, oh, oh. Sleeping in my bed, messing with my head. I can't sleep, I can't eat, hey. In the bubble bips, I got many, and it ain't got too many. My life ain't, ain't got no buzz, it can't nobody do it like we do. Come on, man. You had the bread. You talking about the bread? Bread and JD was on there. Come on, yeah, man. The, yeah, but the bread. And they did good. The I mean, but Jermaine, they did Jermaine good. Jermaine Dupree was hard, period. Jermaine Dupree was hard on that song. Hard on there. Mm-hmm. That's something. Remember we were talking about the 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 the, the, the shit they all did, uh, the ladies night, all that shit. And and I said, uh yeah. I said, uh, the brat was on it. I said, I didn't even remember nothing from her verse. I remember, you mm-hmm. know, Missy. Yeah, I remember all the shit with Missy and Lil' Kim. She and, was always memorable, though. Right, but 
I didn't remember shit from Brad. On this song, I remember. I can at least mumble the shit. If the song was playing, I'll actually be able to, okay. Uh, JD, I remember some of his parts on the verse. At one time when it first came out, I knew I knew the whole fucking song. I'm throwing you classics. This is shit you can still just like Get Married remix. You throw that on at a club right now, it's going to pop. Let's get married. With Lil Bow Wow yeah, I, I, <laughs> and the Brett. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Jagged Edge, Jagged Edge, second and third album. Those, those are my cuts for show. So which one better? Is it is going to be uh, Jagged Edge, Let's I'm Get saying, Married remix, or is it going to be Sleeping in My Bed remix? They both done by Jermaine Dupri, okay, and Jermaine okay, Dupri on both. Okay, let me. Hold on, I, I need to figure out. I need to figure out where I was in these times. That's a good. That's a good battle right there. You know what? That's that a, should be a, a. That that should be a. You know what we should do? That should be a show. We yeah. should we should do a bracket where we put different songs up against each other, and we voted. Mm-hmm. We voted, and see who moves to the next level, and then let's see who wins that tournament. That's A1 right there, nigga. Hey. Hey, man. That's A1. Hey. Well, matter of fact. <laughs> matter of fact. And we need to get a hip-hop wheel. Mm-hmm. With letters all on it. And whatever we spend on that day, that's who we're going to be talking about. Mm-hmm. Like, not... I'm talking about pick somebody within the... Uh, with that letter or whatever... Like we fuck around and get P, you know, like get Master P or Pastor Troy or Project Pat, something, you know what I mean? Yeah, I get Pick what you're saying. Pick the artist out of there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, see, look, that's another fucking show right there. Yeah, that could and be a can, part of P and Pat right we there. Can, yeah, we can we can talk about that a little later. That could be a nice little people. People love the, the you know. Listen in on that shit. Seeing which one's the best. Take their own picks. You know what I mean? And then we give the crowd. See, the audience would be the, uh, let's say if me and you can't decide on what song moves, the audience would be the one who would choose the winner. So it's like whoever mm-hmm. the audience voted for the most, that's whose side they take. So it'll be two to one. You know what I mean? So don't, gotta, don't call it a comeback. I've been here for years. But yeah, man. So, um, all right, so we got the social media out of the way. Uh, now, so what's going on with this police brutality? Now, here in Indiana, they already shot a man who had a machete who was... Mm-hmm. Already had a mental illness, you can tell. I think he was naked with a fucking machete. Black guy, of course. Uh, they shot him. Yes. Uh, they didn't tase him. We don't have genetic immunity. Yeah, they didn't tase him. They didn't run behind him. They just shot him. I get it. He's running to you with a machete, but it was a good. It was shoot a, him in a leg. Yeah, it was a good distance where you could have popped him in a kneecap or something. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I get it. He charged him with a weapon. He charged him with a weapon. You know, I get it. But if you really didn't want to take a life, you could have handled that differently. Um, we had another guy who uh, got pulled over by the cops. Uh, here in Indiana, y'all, all these incidents I'm talking about happen here in Indiana. Um, he got pulled over by the cops. Uh, he he was inside his car, one leg out. You know, he was looking for his license and registrations and all that shit. He ended up getting his gun, and he took his gun. He didn't point it at the cops or nothing like that. He took his gun, and he ran off. 
His back is facing the police officer. And what did the police officer do? Shot him in the back. Shot him down in the back. Shot him in the fucking back. All this yeah. happened within a, a two month span. This has happened. And let's not forget, mm-hmm. let's not forget a, a what was that, like a year and a half, two years ago, when that young man was on Facebook Live running from the cops. What was his name? Demarcus? Yeah, something like that. Was that his name? It's something like that. I'm not sure. I know, but it's something like that. You know who I'm talking about, the young guy. Yeah. He, he, he went on live, and, you know, they're saying he had a, a gun in his hand or whatever. I know in one of his hands he had the fucking phone. Yeah, I know that. I know that for goddamn sure. And he died on Facebook Live. He got shot by the cops. Took off running. Yeah. yeah and that's the thing, you know, when when you black, man, you don't have genetic immunity from the law and from brutality like white folks do. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. that's just what it is, like, yeah. Just look at the new video of that wedding that was going on where those people was attacked. Those white folk was attacking those cops. They didn't tase them. They didn't pull out no knife sticks. They didn't shoot them. Mm-hmm. They didn't even beat them down and then stomp them out like they do us. Right. You know, they was wrestling with them and they getting the shit beat out of them by these people. Do you, so, so do you think they just want, I don't know, uh, colored people dead or do you think it's fear of course it's the systematic annihilation of black folk you don't think it's fear i, I think it's it, it, i okay, think what? fear i think fear got a lot to do with it no. i think they're scared if black you people scared you shouldn't be no cop i think they i mean of course we know that but come on how many people you know you know we work with people who wanted to be cops or should have been cops, but they can't be cops mm-hmm. because they bitches. They scary. Yeah. They pussies. Mm-hmm. They might look like Tarzan, but they fucking, like you know what I mean? Like, like you, those, but you pussy. But those be the one to make police officers. Right. So when they make it in there, like we, we had one who kept going to the goddamn uh, police and, and then uh, they kept coming back and, you know, once everyone found out they couldn't make the police force, they fucking burst out into tears. They're crying. They're mm-hmm. whining. You know, so I, I get, I get it. Those are the type of people who get through. And I'm, I'm pretty sorry, man. Like, I can't give them no belt money when it comes to that because it's it. It would be one thing if we weren't the only ones getting brutalized and shot. We are targeting. I'm sorry, I, I can't just go with the whole scared and murder. No, who's nah. going? Who's going with that? Now, nah, when you said you believe they're scared, no, yeah, I, they're scared. I, I believe no. They have a lot of people in there who are scared, and scared motherfuckers will shoot first. You know, mm-hmm. but then you got some motherfuckers who's waiting for those type of situations to happen. I'm not saying all of them are doing it for the same reason. But I'm pretty sure plenty of them are there who never thought they'll be in those situations. And when they do get in those situations, they will pull that fucking trigger. Now, because the guy is is chasing them from the back, that's a good reason to say I shot him because he had a weapon. In public. Mm -hmm. That, That still don't sound like nothing that should get all like that man should be locked the fuck up. He should have lost his job. And be awaiting trial right yeah. now. Yep. That's what he should be doing. You know, he you did, shot man. a man in his fucking back who, okay, yes, he yeah. did have a gun, but he won't point it at you. Accident. He won't point it at you. He was running away from you. And it shows on your fucking body cam. Yeah. It's just fucking stupid, man. And like I, I said, don't care if it was an accident because at the end of the day, y'all train not to have accidents. Mm-hmm. And see, you know? and see, that's why I want to get my um, uh, one of the guys used to uh, I used to supervise. Um, he was a former 
uh, LAPD. That's why I want to get him in situations when we talk like this so he can tell us the proper procedures he had to go through and how to handle these types of, like, what he would have done if this would have happened. See, my brother-in-law is a cop. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man. Maybe yeah. that, hey, maybe you need to bring him on one of these days. It's cool, but he knows how I feel about cops. So we kind of clad, my him and my sister and him, we kind of clad about my opinion. Mm-hmm. Because, like, me personally, I feel like police officers should be held at a higher standard than the average citizen. Agreed. Too. Agreed. So even when they commit crime, because they know so, they know better, you know what I'm saying, they need to be held at a higher standard. Correct. Regardless of what the crime is, I don't care what it is. Mm-hmm. Stealing, fraud, anything. Y'all yeah. are- uh, servants of the law, the guy needs to hear his third law the way it needs to be served. Because if, 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 if you if you kill a cop, that's automatically death. Automatic. You know, so you know? so yeah. If you are a cop and you're killing innocent people, that should be, automatic, be automatic death as well. Yes. That shouldn't be thirty years in prison. No, you should be dead because you are a product of this country, mm-hmm. of the state, of the law, for the government. Mm-hmm. And these people pay you out of their tax money. What, you got yeah. damn right. And that's what that's what these cops, once they stop worrying about black folks, stop worrying about hitting a dead nigga lottery, you know, when they family members die and and actually get justice, like we've been doing the past few years with, with like with the Ahmad Arbery and all that. Of course, I wasn't the cop shooting, but you know, people be looking at trying to get money instead of getting justice. That's just like I feel like those cops in New York who killed Eric Gardner, just strangled him out for selling loose cigarettes. Mm. That that should have been automatic death penalty. Yep. Period. Mm-hmm. And they should get the death penalty. And if they injure, if they injure any civilian, that civilian yeah. should be getting paid. Because you are a product. If you're a cop, you are a product of the law, which is being profited through us. Mm-hmm. And two things that, that would deter these cop shootings. Mm-hmm. And the only thing I'm saying is uh, punishment and people getting paid more. Once once the, uh, the government and the judicial system starts seeing how many settlements they got to pass out, they lose the money, the government lose the money, and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And then these cops realize they're gonna do life in prison, or you gonna get the death penalty. They'll stop this shit. Yeah, definitely will. Or because, like a lot of times, <laughs> things aren't highlighted in this country until it starts happening to white folk. Mm. Now, if they was killing white folk, which we know that don't happen, if they was killing white folk in droves like they kill black people then, you know, they would have did something about that. Yeah. You see when a black cop accidentally shot that white lady, they gave him 15 years off top. Mm-hmm. Accidentally shot her in the dark. Black cop. He got, they didn't waste no time. She survived? Him locked up. Huh? She survived? Nah, she's dead. Oh, damn. What was that black cop's name? Let me look him up real quick. The black cop's name was Colin. His name was Colonel. Colin. Let's see, Shaquille O'Neal. 
He said his name is Count him. <laughs> his name Count him. Count him. Uh, Colin. Oh, it Colin. Is. Colin face ass. But yeah, um, it, the police force is is really. I think they really need to go through some retraining, and it needs to be taken so serious. I don't um, think they training is needed. They already got the I best know, training they need. But they don't it, utilize it's, it for black folk. But it's still. Better it, it's still better. Yes, they do need punishment, but you have to that, commit a crime first. That's all. You have to commit a crime first. We need mm-hmm. to train them not to commit crimes. We need to retrain them to let them know during this training, if you fuck up, you're going to cost us money. Because if you injure someone, that can cost us millions of dollars. If you attempted murder someone, that can cost us hundreds of millions of dollars. And if you do that, you best believe you're getting locked up and you're losing your fucking career. Well, you should see, get, that's what that's I'm talking about, that. I'm talking about that seriousness, not suspension that's with pay. And that, that's, that's already there. And, they just don't do it for black people. No, I'm talking about they need that's to start we, saying that's for all people. Yeah, what, yeah, They're not getting penalized. Did, the state isn't being yeah. penalized. As, as a government, as a whole, if you bring this shit to me that I got cops out there shooting people, shooting anybody, I don't give a fuck if they black, white, Puerto Rican, whoever the fuck it is. If you're shooting them and you were in the wrong, that can cost us millions of dollars that's the type of penalty it should be it's our money it's our fucking money so if you shoot me <laughs> what, what what are you going to do if you you buy a fucking i don't know you buy a goddamn a slingshot from a goddamn a big company. Mm-hmm. And as you about to pull this slingshot back, that bitch popped and hit you in the fucking eye. Yep. You make a complaint, you pull out the pictures and shit. As a company, I'm seeing this, and this is a product that needs to work. That I've been over mm-hmm. time and time. I don't want my shit to look cheap. And now this man's over here showing me how cheaply this shit is being built once again. I need to contact you. I need to offer you a better one or give you a lifetime guarantee of something. I need to do something to make you feel a little bit better as a company. Because, you know, all they need to do is show us one person. That'll scare everybody. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. I seen this video. That boy did that in it. Pop this fucking eyeball out. Mm-hmm. So people are in that quickly. So you have yeah. to take care. Now, if the government did the c- civilians like that, like we need them to trust in the government. We need them to trust in the the, the law. That's including the cops, the fucking firemen, you know, all that shit. The government's not doing that. They're not saying put your trust in us. We don't get that from the government. I mean, that's because this, the government the system is working exactly the way they want it to work. Mm. Put their foot on niggas' neck. Yeah. Hey, you can't see it no other way. Because, like I said, when it comes to brutality, those rules that you just said, all those rules are pretty much set in place already. Yeah. All those rules are set in place already. But they seem to neglect them when they come to niggas. That's just like that 
they dog attack where they just let the dog chew that man up what about a month ago that uh, yeah that's another one yeah that was that was right here yeah. right i think so i thought that was that in is, indiana i just i just got so tired of hearing about this shit man i don't even be i'll be like fuck this shit. what the fuck right another story yeah same old shit man and my thing is it's like and then when they do look at our situation it takes so long to get justice when shit is in your face mm-hmm. you know when, when they literally have a murder on camera and still talking about we gotta investigate this <laughs> they'll literally have cops on camera disrespecting and talking crazy and punching people in the face and elbowing black people in the face and come out, oh, well, we're investigating this instead of saying, oh, well, nah, damn, that's automatic suspension, pending termination, and prosecution. Mm-hmm. You know, so that the system is working exactly the way they want it to work. You see, the one of three things that's going to have to happen for to me for it to be changed. Black folk gonna have to rise up and start doing the same thing, which hopefully we won't have to get to. I mean, uh, what's the what's the two, odds of that happening? That's what I'm saying. These are all miracles you really name. I really don't think it's it's not that far fetched because yeah, black no. folk are really getting tired. It, it it's not happening. Black people not getting together, man. Black people get together, and I, and I hate to sound that way. But as a whole, we just can't, especially with the social media. It's just like when those riots that goes on after a black kid or a black man get killed, they start a riot. And then you have these black folks down there fucking up black owned businesses. Yeah. Not knowing what they doing, not giving a fuck. They just see this is the time to. To to wreck shit and then people go, No, that's rage. I, I'm I'm sorry, I didn't see I seen rage in those who were screaming, crying. But what I really seen was so many people trying to take epic photos. Yeah. Hey, we got we got fire in the background. We got fire in the background, and I got like a hundred people behind me. Let me stand right here and, and cover my face and throw the fists up and, and blur out the background. This is a cool fucking look right here. I'm in the middle of it all. You know, that that was that's what was going on. Those pictures you seen, you know, uh Dr. Martin Luther King and Malcolm X and all of them take. Frank Sinatra, you know, sorry to name Frank as a white guy, but to name Frank Sawat. But these people, when when they had these epic pictures taken, it was by a photographer who didn't ask if he can take the pictures. They just snuck a picture in, and they just got it at a good angle, and it became an epic picture. Nowadays, people are saying, hey, I'm gonna stand right here. You go over there and, and, and get a good shot of me. Send that to me. They're down there for the wrong reasons. They're down there to show support, to be, to to make it look full. But they're not doing the right thing. They're not doing anything peaceful. They're making the people who are doing it peacefully leave. You know, and, and even in this situation, you can't be a white person down there because that rage might turn into whipping your ass. And and, and then, like, you, you also had white people who were in fucking hoodies and shit and covering their faces, and they were fucking up shit and, and spray, paint, uh, uh, spray painting Black Lives Matter everywhere. So it's like we don't have those type of people anymore. Those type of people got scared away or they get put away. 
Martin Luther King assassinated. Malcolm X assassinated by his own people. <laughs> you know, uh, Farrakhan don't pop up at these. You know, not not to say nothing wrong with Farrakhan, but he's not in the middle of that. He's 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 old. He's yeah, he old. Is, like, he is he is, and 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 and, and he still speaks and he still does it. Yeah, and and you know what? When he do speak, I always listen. He talks mm-hmm. sense. He talks some good shit. I listen to him. Yeah, you know, a but, lot of things. But you you did point out that yes, he is at a, at a certain age right now. He can't go out there and fight the fight. But he, I would definitely like to hear hear him talk before I go out that motherfucker. You know, he's one of those type of guys right now. He give you a hell of a motivational speech. You might go out there and get your ass whooped, but God damn it. But that's like I said, it's like that's the only one of two things that's going to stop it. Black folk rise up and say we're tired of this shit. Or, say, or if white folks start getting killed like niggas, then that's when it'll stop. I don't think that's when it'll stop. That uh, I think it'll stop because you got to look at every situation when it comes to the government, the public, period. Just for example, like drugs. Crack mm. cocaine wasn't a problem until it hit white America. Because crack wasn't even a, a, a white drug, of course. But when that hit white America, all of a sudden we got a war on drugs. All of a sudden, you know, when, when when black folk was all slung over in on the corner and and, and on sidewalks and in parks, strung out, ODing, robbing people, sick people, you know, being sick and all that other stuff. Uh, that now they're saying this it was a crime and these, these drug addicts and all that. But when white America hits, oh well, these people are sick. Like with the heroin epidemic now, like this really coming back and taking over. Especially here in Ohio, well, not here in Ohio, here in Indiana and in Ohio. Like the heroin, man, it's all kind of white people strung out in, in whole cities on heroin. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But they're yeah. saying these people sick. They're not locking them up. They send them to treatment centers and all that. So whenever something in America becomes a problem for white folk, that's when they start doing shit about it. Like you know, you, you like every every white person that they got killed, you can count damn near on one hand by the police. You know what I'm saying? Unfairly, and they and they got justice quick. Now, I think if black people get all those uh, things you uh, named out, I don't think that would be the end because what I feel like the law would do or the government would do is back off and, and let the civilians go against civilians. Because mm-hmm. when you have a black leader and black people starting to make a move, you got the same type of white folks out there who thinking the same thing. Oh, they going to do this. You watch us. God damn it. We can do it too. That's I mean, you've seen it already with the black lives matter and then come, this fucking uh uh the, the Trump supporters, Trump supporters was low key low budget fucking uh uh KKKs. Yeah, of course. It was just the ones who just they said, I would even it. say low key. They just said fuck it. I yeah. ain't fuck fuck this shit. I ain't wearing no goddamn sheets. Fuck it. Yeah, I ain't none of them. I ain't going to no meetings. Watch football, but I still hate them niggers. That that's what I'm getting out of, and I'm not saying all Trump fans. I'm not saying that all yeah, Trump supporters are. are not. If you can. Hey, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to say. I'm not going to go that you far. Believe his ideologies. I'm not going to go that far, but you have some people. Even who though love, I like Trump, you, you have a lot of people who love Trump, but they also love him because he is their escape goat. Yeah, he could. He feel like since he can say all this shit. So can we. That's how all that shit happened at, mm-hmm. at, at the fucking, um, 
well, insurrection. Yeah, at, at the fucking Capitol. Mm-hmm. They did that off the strength of him. Those were his people, his supporters. Even even though, like, I'm sorry, you know, I I didn't vote for Trump or Biden, but given the climate of what America wanted, I believe the presidency was stolen as well. But that's another story. Oh wow! I believe it was. I'm sorry. This white America wanted it too bad. I I like like I said. I didn't vote for Trump or Biden because I don't. I didn't think neither one of them were fit to be president. But like I said, I do believe it was stolen. I tell you this: I'd rather have Trump right now than Biden. Oh, of course. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm at I, like a point. I, said, I'm I, like... I don't. I don't think nobody is. Neither one of them are fit to be president. Right. But I like Trump just because he's an honest racist. At least Period. you and knew he what he, he was doing. Say, right? You knew what he was doing. I don't know what the fuck Biden yeah. doing. Biden just Biden wake up. Shit. He just wake up and sign some shit. Oh, oh. Was, uh, get in here. Uh, what's going on? Every time he talk, uh, what's going on? What time is it? Hello? Okay. Hello? Ain't he our oldest president? <laughs> hey, fucking look it. I'm be... talking about ever in history, like, that's to make it know. as president. He probably is. Him and Barry, Barry Sanders. Mm-hmm. Not Barry. Bernie. Well, he won't have a president. Bernie, oh, I was I was for Bernie. Bernie. I wanted Bernie. Bernie to be president, man. And half the shit he was saying, mm-hmm. I don't know how the fuck he was going to do it, but... <laughs> Bernie was see, my I, boy. I don't know because I really didn't see like he was against reparations, so I wasn't. Him. Bernie Sanders looked like that guy who was, you know, that guy who always show up late, got got papers all in between his arms and his shit all out of <laughs> dropped the shit on his way in the room. <laughs> Don't say the nigga from the dude? Simpsons. Don't say the dude. No. From the <laughs> oh no, he look like him too. What's his name? <laughs> Millhouse. Mr. Burns. No, I'm talking about Mr. He Burns. Like Millhouse, nigga. Uh, that nigga like Mr. Burns, man. Mr. Burns' assistant. <laughs> that nigga oh. remind me of uh, uh yeah, man, you done made me forget that fact. Nigga, you been saying uh for <laughs> you said that the whole time. Uh uh. Uh, uh. Damn, man. <laughs> you remind me of uh I don't forgot. Nah, yeah. What's the dude off of honey? I just want the kids. With the glasses. Oh, 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 I forgot his Rick real name. Rick Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> Honey, I shrunk the United States. That's what I Oh, shit. Bernie was my nigga, though. I think it was funny, man. I used to love watching Bernie. <laughs> oh, shit. Reparations. What is that? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, dude. Yeah, yeah, and nah. that. You don't think we should get reparations? Get your whole ass now. <laughs> he he didn't even look like a president. I knew he wasn't gonna win. <laughs> I'm gonna right. look like he was part <laughs> of uh, Congress. That's it. Yeah, that nigga, that he looked like he, he looked like they don't want him in there either. Like nigga, just, <laughs> he keeps showing just up. Bernie with- to run these copies <laughs> here. He keeps showing up, dropping papers out of his damn briefcase and shit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Put that there. Uh, you got <laughs> dragging toilet paper behind his foot. <laughs> Goddamn towels. Shirt half tucked in on one side. <laughs> they can take the train to work. <laughs> suit, suit too big for him, is it? Reparations. What is that? <laughs> you so ass out. Oh, you shit. better not run for president again. And <laughs> I ain't going to vote for y'all there. Bernie was my boy, man. That's fucked up. Fuck Bernie. <laughs> Any president that's against reparations, fuck him. No, oh, man. Do you think there will ever be reparations, man? Say what? You think we're going to ever get that? 
I think we will. Now, how are we going to get it, the form of payment that we're going to get it in, you know, that's what, that's what they're trying to sit up here and debate. They owe us, period. If any race on the face of this planet should get reparations, it's black folk. They already gave the Indians they shit. The Jews got they shit. You I heard they saying? were doing it in California, though. They, they, that's talks on it. They ain't, it, it's in the works, so they say. The conversation is. I mean, they know they're getting it right <laughs> back anyway. How? Because we're going we're gonna to spend it with the government. Taxes. Uh, they're going to get mean, it back with taxes. Yeah, of course. And then and we're going we sure to put more, us- we're going to put money into the market. We're going to keep the mm-hmm. downtowns banging, the strip clubs going, yeah. the strip is going to light up again. And there's more money. Mm-hmm. Keep it going. It, it, it all comes right back to them. Then you pay taxes see, at the, the end. Thing. If they do come over reparations, they probably going to have some shit to where we can only spend certain money here and we can only get it there. They're going to nah, try to give us stipulations where nah, we can do it all. I money. think they're going to do it like stimulus checks and give us about four of them bitches. How much you think they're going to give us? Because if we was to get, hypothetically. To every black per- I, I honestly think. Every black I, uh, I, American that descends mm-hmm. from American, not not no foreign blacks, American blacks. I think it all would have to go under investigation. It'll take a long time. Some people might not live to see it, but it would be the beginning of a process. I think you would have to go down people's uh, DNA lineage. You have to go down their DNA, their mm-hmm. family tree. You need to know how much they're worth because if they come from Thomas Jefferson, the former president, yes, they should be well taken care of, just like his original family is. You know what I mean? Um, I think that should go by anyone. If something leads to a, a big time CEO, if Walt Disney raped a black girl or had a slave or whatever the case may be, yes, their family should be paid. I think you should track down that far. You should know when to cut it off. Like in case that's gonna be impossible. It it, it might would be impossible, be but impossible. but it's their fuck up because we're because here's the thing, they're never gonna come up with a number that's deserving. If that's yeah, the case, they, really they will go broke. Mm-hmm. That's the case. We should all be a hundred millionaires. Crime community in humanity. <laughs> we should be a hundred millionaires, each and every one of us. They can't afford that. Mm-hmm. And and even and so, if they do do that, I guarantee you they'll take it away. They'll go, all right, money ain't the thing no more. We doing this mm-hmm. now. We doing we doing and cars. See, what... <laughs> so you putting that money back into their pockets because when you got a bank card, you ain't you ain't seeing money. You seeing numbers. Yeah. If that bank goes broke, where you think your money at? Hmm. <laughs> Now they owe you. And that's money, why I was. But if they go broke, <laughs> you done. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> what I was saying to, in a sense, like it wouldn't make sense because they're not going to be able to track. They they didn't have social security number. What well, they did, but they they ain't going to be remembered. They new records. Most people's lineage and records is going to be diminished. That's why they just need to get work out one flat fee to give every black American in America. So what would you think? Killing fields of America. What would you think a nice fee would be per person? Do it come with age? Does it count for kids? No, I don't feel like it comes with age. Everybody need to get uh one flat fee, deserving. Uh, I would say 
if we talking about every black American, I would say one to two hundred thousand, two hundred two hundred thousand dollars a piece. Because black Americans really only what make up what? I think maybe only thirty percent of the population. No, nah, hold up, fourteen percent. So you said one to two thousand? Hell no, nah, I said one hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand, <laughs> nigga. So one to two hundred thousand. Yeah. Uh, for every black American. So, so you That's telling me if if you come from the seed of Thomas Jefferson? One of our former presidents, you should settle with one to three hundred, one to two hundred thousand. You said for the whole family, huh? You said if you just come from the family, yeah, black folk are only thirteen percent. What? You're talking black about 13% of the population. I ask you a question. So, nah, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be too much money. Yeah, I mean it, it wouldn't be. But like I say, if, if, if you coming from Thomas Jefferson, if the reason him fucking your great great grandmother created you today, yeah. I don't want no two hundred thousand. I should get that a year for life. I mean, of course, yeah. But that's just like black families that lost land throughout the year. Just like they gave that family. Uh, last year they gave that family they land back in California, but it was been so long since they gave it back, they had to turn around and sell it because it was worthless. The Diddy treatment. Hey, yeah. that's part of the game. They should have knew what they got down when they put the nah, land there. Nah, part of the nah. game. Then he gave them niggas uh, contracts. Part of the game. White folks just outright took it. It's part of the game. Burned you out your shit. Tell me nah. what state don't do that. Come on, man. You say who? <laughs> but yeah, they. Uh, I, I think it, it, it should go different levels because. I might be some kin to a fucking king back in Africa. I want what's mine. Yeah. You, we all you, do. I've been we ain't gonna never get family. what's ours. That's what I'm saying. So, me, I'd rather have a longer process because that 200, 300 grand is going to run out quickly with, with, with black folks. We're not I mean, going to put our shit together. We're not going to build our own no. neighborhood. We not I think gonna buy... I think we will. No. But we all just like in every race, when they gave Jews that money, when they gave Indians that money, didn't none of the, every Indian and Jew did not sit up here and spend that money on what they needed to be spending on. We gonna have those who waste their money. But black folk are a little bit more conscious and a little bit more uh power uh hungry nowadays. They want to pitch that pie. So you gonna have those black folks that start their businesses, it's, but that's just like everybody who say something. Ooh, black folks are just gonna just spend it up. Look, that's it. Don't matter how we spend our money; it's our money. And, and, and white and folks I gonna get it back anyway that. if that's the case. They will so, get I mean, it back. But I just don't like when 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 white folks say that, and and then you get niggas who say, "Hey, do that, do that." But but that's what I'm. But that's, what I'm, anyway. but that's so, what, what I'm saying. If if we know they're gonna get it back, that's why we should start building our own neighborhood, our own market. And we gonna have farms, we gonna have those that do, and and build back what they took from us. We had Black mm-hmm. Wall Street, build it back up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like if that. They don't tear it down and burn it down again. They shouldn't if you're doing right now. You got so much shit you can you can show and, and you can, you know what I'm saying? You can put everything on blast. You just post it on Facebook or Twitter or some shit. Look, y'all, they, they trying to fuck up our Black Wall Street, y'all. They trying to do it. And then you'll get a special movement going on. You draw some attention. CNN might even get hooked on to something. You might get over. I think over. it'll be a little bit easier, like you said. Yeah, it'll be easier. 
They'll be, they won't be able to do it like that. Now, they'll be able to, you know, one by one pluck motherfuckers off, like people who was behind it. If we had enough people who wasn't, you know, power hungry, they were just more of, look, I know how to work this shit where we can win. All of us win. We keep giving back to each other. Let's sell our own Mm -hmm. clothes. Let's let's sell our own food. Let's throw our yep. own parties. Let's make our own clothes. Let's do circulate. all this. Yeah. Why the fuck that's not? Why I, that's why I was sitting here saying about Brightwood. Like, like you know, if I fucked around over here and get all this shit up, that's all I'm trying to do is build a whole enclave. But we, see, it our takes money more needs to be than, circulating back over here. Yeah, it takes, but it takes more. Than, that's that's money coming back to you. You know what I'm saying? It it, it takes. I'm talking about you need brothers and sisters to get together and go look. Yeah. We all are going to. This is going to be our neighborhood. We're going to own it. You know what I'm saying? That's if you what I'm do trying it, to get to. But I'm if you say, but that, it, but that'll be. Folks. But all I'm trying to just do it with myself. Okay, so so yeah, so that's what they're going to need. You know, build mm-hmm. the school, black teachers, yeah. black history. I mean, it's always black history over here, man. It's always Black I'm History like, Month. <laughs> you know, yeah. go on go on Black History field trips and you know what I'm saying? Like it's so much stuff that you can do if you just get the right people. You already have the churches. That's gonna be crazy. Open up restaurants, black owned restaurants. You know that's gonna be good as yeah. fuck. Why the fuck not? But then they're gonna say, "Oh, they they isolating themselves from from this and that and that." Oh, mm-hmm. they they acting like they better than us. They, then they're gonna pinpoint some shit about that. Then they're gonna start having terrorist attacks on us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, but like you know what? We'll be good. So, I mean, it's, we'll be good. We'll be no different. We'll have no. We'll have protectors. We're yeah. gonna have people who's ready for like, look, you coming in this motherfucker? You gonna have to. Yeah, we're going to be on some Black Panther shit. You come in this bitch unexpectedly. Like, I don't mind you bring your little white friends over to come visit or whoever. But I don't want to see them niggas drunk walking down the street type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I might, <laughs> might got to pull up on you like the cops and go drop your ass off outside of this bitch. You know, we, we, we shovel each other's snow off the ground and shit like that. Like, we do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just build your own shit. Hire more people. Just work for yourself. Go to school. Go through college. Build a college. Recreation center. Yeah. You can, and, and then yeah. you, you, you are teaching these kids how to play good football, how to play good basketball. Then they make it through college. They get to the pro. Imagine if Le- if LeBron James came from a place like this, and now he's a billionaire. Where do you think LeBron James is going to be at? That's still going to be home. He's going to put money into it. He's going to give back to it because it showed him love. It showed him that black love, that that love that only we can do with each other. And prepare him for this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and, and I know he'll feel that way because that's how I felt about the projects. You know what I'm saying? You look back and it's like, damn. Every night I was sleeping, I had roaches crawling over the fucking, in the ceiling and sometimes on the bed and shit. Sometimes you might feel something crawling on you, hit something and, and you just smush the fucking roach on your hand. I remember those nights. I remember those nights. You had to get up and, and wipe that shit off and wash your hands and shit. Slap it off. And it, it's like, I can't even fucking, I, I can't even go back to sleep like that. Now I'm worried about another motherfucker crawling on me. You know what I'm saying? So I've, I've been through those times. You know what I mean? I've been through those fucking times, you know, where it was yeah, so good. Mouse running across your head, nigga. Nah, I ain't have all that shit. I ain't have all that. <laughs> I'm on the phone, caking at night. My <laughs> ex girlfriend, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, shit. 
Throw the phone and everything, dude. <laughs> now, when, I, when, when, when we moved into Holland Park, we did have mice and rats over that motherfucker, man. It was bad. The pro- it, that made the projects look like fucking, you know what I'm saying, you know, a fucking penthouse suite. Third world country. I was like, damn, when I got to this bitch, and this, I'm in a house now, and it's just got these big ass fucking rats. They stayed in the kitchen. Nobody wanted to go in the kitchen. Nobody. Yeah, I ain't because it's like you, you, it be like you hear noise back then. It's like what the fuck is that? That shit just smacked yeah, this. Y'all was renting the house, dude. They had rats in that bitch. The landlord would not take care of it, dude. Man, landlords didn't give a fuck, yo. It was like paint and shit fine. peeling off the wall. I got real sick in that bitch. I caught pneumonia in that motherfucker. My um, my room was yeah. in the attic. And I like that. I liked it because it was higher up. I I used to come in and bring company up and other things. Like you couldn't hear shit like outside of of the, of the attic. You know what I mean? So I was fucking as much as I wanted to up there. You know, mama ain't know nothing. You know, but yeah. I thought the I thought the attic made I thought attics made more noise than the basement. Oh no, nah. you had a good nigga shit. I had siblings. Mm. No, the attic would make more noise than the basement, of course. But like my mom' room was downstairs to the on the other side of the room. Yeah, like to the left of the room where my room ended, basically. So it's like if I blast my music, she'll be able to hear a little, but it won't be enough to go. I'm trying to go to sleep. No, you know, shit shit like that. Yeah, it won't be enough to do that. You know what I'm saying? I used to blast my music late. It'd be 1 o'clock in the morning. She'd be there, and that'd be knocked out. My music blasting, chilling. You know what I'm saying? So um, I had a lot of privacy up there. It's just that when it got cold outside, it was freezing in that bitch. If it's 10 degrees outside, it was negative Oh yeah, one. Yeah, however, it is in the attic. That's how it is, man. And my dumb ass, I used to have a fucking uh a, a, a heater. It was like a radiator heater, but you can plug it up. And I used to put my comforter over top of it where my body was up under it, and it kept me warm. But then it got really, really hot, and I took the blanket off. And now I'm getting back cold again. And then I put the cover back on and I get warm. So I kept doing that shit throughout the night. Mm. That shit got me sick as a bitch. I ended up catching yeah. pneumonia inside pneumonia the no basement. Joke. It ain't no fucking joke. I felt mm. everything shutting down. Like I started pissing brown. My fucking kidneys was shutting down. Yeah. Like a lot of, I was I like, know. what the fuck? I know every time you coughed, it felt like somebody was stabbing oh, your ass. Oh, it was bad. I, I had no yeah, fucking strength. And I tried yeah, to trick yeah, myself. Ooh. I tried to trick myself. I was, my boy was like, I'm about to go around there and play basketball. I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to come with you. I knew I was fucking tired, mm-hmm. but I was trying to beat it uh, mentally. Man, I it's shot them but air balls, man. I was like, I said, yo, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm going home. I'm going home. Yeah. And you didn't want to make that walk home. I didn't. And when I when I got home, mm-hmm. that was the last time that nigga seen me until I, you know, started getting back better. Yeah, you don't start mm-hmm. feeling better after the money for about a month, nigga. Sometimes longer than, but bruh. Yeah, sometimes some, longer than I'm that. Not even, I'm not even going to lie. Sometimes, even now, It'll be a little thing that might happen one day that reminded me of something that happened a lot often back then. You know what I mean? Like it might be a a little dehydration, like that feeling. Like I feel like I never really, uh, re- you know, like like I never yeah. really got back to where I was because I felt like it drained everything out of me. 
Like I kept yeah. pissing and pissing and pissing and you know what I'm saying? When I take a crap, it was fucking diarrhea crap. So I was losing liquid yeah. like a motherfucker. I, nigga, I know you lost weight. Man, of course. Doing had, the whole time, nigga. Hey, you cotton need mouth. Hey, cotton mouth the whole time. My damn lips started getting chapped to the point they were just breaking. Mm-hmm. I was like, what the fuck? Nigga, I was I, I got that's how I ended up in the position I'm in, like paralyzed. Mm-hmm. Because I ended up getting that pneumonia. And I, I, as soon as I got over the pneumonia, I thought I was cool, but they said the bacteria didn't leave my system and it attacked my spinal cord. Damn. Nigga, shit. So, nigga, that nigga pneumonia attacked you a bathroom, bitch. Yeah, man. That shit ain't no joke. So, now I make sure, <laughs> bro, when I'm telling you, like when I get out of the shower and shit like that, don't ask me, especially if it's winter time. Don't ask me to run outside and get something. No, no. It's right there on the front porch. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. My pores are still open. <laughs> I ain't going out if my pores wasn't though. <laughs> I don't. And then, and then, and then if I do, nigga, I got boots, a jacket, hat, and these on. <laughs> it's just on the porch. I don't play when it comes. I don't to play that around shit, in the man. money. Uh uh-uh. uh, that was a that was a that's just like wit. Feeling. Wit be out here and shit in the cold all the time, but like, wit. Boy, I said your ass gonna get sick, nigga. Some niggas nah, man, can I take that. Sick. I'm like until you do. Some motherfuckers can take that shit though. It ain't about taking it, you know. What I saying? Seen... Cause I can take the cold, but shit, just about being in it. I'm I just I'm scared of pneumonia. I am too, nigga. That I'm scared shit. of the flu and pneumonia. That shit took, yeah. COVID now, shit, yeah. all of it. That shit took me out, bro. I was like, yo, I. It really took a while for me to I feel like did. back to me, as close as possible. Even now, I still feel like something. You know, it, it's not the same as it was. You know, what I'm saying as it was way back then. You know, now that I'm older and shit, but back then I was like 19. I was fucking 19. I really thought it was it. Oh, that's exactly how, how old I was. Mm-hmm. I was 18 or 19. Mm-hmm. My mom was 19. Yeah, I was 18. I was like, I I was 18. this can't be it, yo. I was scared to go to the fucking hospital. I went to the hospital two weeks later. I went through the shit for two weeks. Then I went to the hospital, and 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 the doctor said, "Yeah, the doctor said, well, Mr. Mack, uh, he said, he said, no, this is what he said. He said, whatever it is, it's working its way out now. (laughs) So it was like, cause it was two weeks, so they didn't know if it was pneumonia or the flu. He was just saying it was one of those. He said you can tell it was an infection. Yeah, and he gave me um." He gave me uh, some antibiotics, and, you know, after that, you know, I was able to actually eat and hold something down. Because even though, like, I was getting a little bit better, but I still had, like, diarrhea, or I still was pissing a lot. You know what I mean? I don't know. So I was like, God damn, you know? I I really felt like I never was going to be the same, which you never be the fucking same. You, You Like I said, you lose your touch in something. It might be a little bit, or it might take a while to gain shit back, but you really lose a lot with it if it really hits you the way it hit me. Oh, man. I don't like playing with that shit, though, for real. So. Hey, you know, bro. Mm-hmm. Not outside right now. You know what I'm saying? And my, my sweater cardigan and hat. I was going to do a, a, a pit fire tonight. I was thinking about doing the podcast outside. I was like, hell no. Fuck around, oh, yeah. be loud, yeah. motherfuckers peeking out the window. Shut the fuck up! We God gotta... damn it! <laughs> God damn niggers! <laughs> Fucking what do you say his name was? Keon. <laughs> These goddamn yeah, niggers! Free on, free on. What the fuck is he fuck doing? Name is. <laughs> Go in the fucking house. <laughs> God damn. Nah, so, um, 
<laughs> you know what? I'm about to hop about this problem in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Gas station, grab these fish. Yeah, I was about to say, man, I think we can wrap this one up. Uh, appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, man, I think this was uh, pretty nice. Uh, it would have been good if we had a, I think if we had a third person that uh, really, you know, can catch our vibes, I think it would have been mm-hmm. even classic. Um, yeah, man, we'll see about your brother-in-law, man. And um, we definitely I'll need to, to we definitely need to see if we can get some people to, to kind of come on and, 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 you know, see how shit's going. It might even come to a point. I might even say, "Hey, fuck it, bring Turner on this motherfucker," you know, or or, or bring uh, White on here. I don't know, man. I'm I'm willing to take it there. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. But you know what I'm saying? I might. To see other people's perspectives. You know, I might, and uh, we can go through those situations there. Uh, hell, might even get wittier on here. Go on, yeah, wit. Uh, we can get him on here for plenty of shit. I know he ain't gonna say yeah, nothing about the, the gig. He'll vote for Trump. I know he'll vote for Trump. <laughs> but we can get his white perspective. <laughs> the average white perspective. Uh, leave what alone, man. But uh, this shit. Let me get up out this Friday because these motherfuckers just be looking at me crazy in this parking lot. All right, big dog. Appreciate you coming on here. Right, hey. That's Talk Your Talk Radio. It's your boy Keon Mack. That's your boy Terry. We about to be out of this bitch. We'll catch y'all on the next time. Peace out. Cooler.